Royce Rolstad. And I'm Katie McFarland. And this is the SGI Beat Show. And today we're going oystering on the Apalachicola Bay. Kendall? I've been orphaned 30, 31 years. This November this month has been 31 years. How old were you when you started? Oh, I probably 16, 17, working in the summertime. So what's the legal size of an oyster? Three inches. It has to be three inches or, or bigger. Out here, since you're on a private lease, are most of them bigger oysters? I wouldn't say most, but a lot, a lot of them are. They're, they're bigger size than in the rest of the bay. Either. Why do you guys use a crankshaft for the anchor? It just holds better? Well, it, it allows you to push back so it don't just hold you in one place, and then that way you can push back and search around for the oil. Why do you um, put your foot up against the tongs and move it well, that when, way? It's easier because when you move it, it hangs back, so then it's got to catch up and be level, so it just gets it where you want it to go quicker. What's the hardest part of the job? Uh, probably the culling. I mean, it's all hard in a way. Culling is hard, culling is hard. I don't know, maybe the hardest is after the end of the day when you're going in and unloading. Oh, just by the end you're Lifting all the bags and your tires. And... So do you do this by yourself or do you have somebody who culls for you? And uh, I work by myself. I have had my brothers off and on work with me. All right, so what do we do here? So tell me. Spread them apart and try to okay. keep them straight up and down because that keeps the heads straight up and down. The bottom. Yeah, of course you got the wind. Yep. But you want to bring them together and hook. and pull up. So okay. Get up just a little bit. So how do they? How do you get them to stay in there? That's the that's the that's thing. The pushing down. That's the pushing down. Pushing down. Now, but when you rake several times, would you lose some out of it? You think, or is that? You just keep opening it and it all kind of just. It just kind of comes together and then you then you pull up. Yeah, that okay. last one when you hold it together. So, do I need to stretch out that further or is that? Pull it into the boat. I don't know if I got anything. Probably not. <laughs> well, a couple. Not much. So they both just came apart, as you can see, and they're both legal. Well, thank you, Kendall, for showing me how to call today. You're so you're kind of pulling up and trying to trap them in the tongs. And uh, let's see if I actually got anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, guy. This is a really good one. This almost looks like professional, not really. But <laughs> so this is my first successful um, tonging. And like I said, you're sitting there and you're, you can kind of feel it. It gets heavy and you kind of feel things coming up. Like you feel the mud and like the shell and then you feel like these hard clumps. And then you try to squeeze it together and pull it up and you end up with a whole bunch of oysters. So I'm pretty amazed right now. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us for the SGI Beach Show. We had a great time with Kendall Shellis, and thank you to 13 Mile Seafood. And please make sure you download the SGI Beach Life app on your Android or mobile device, and we'll see you right back here on the next edition of the SGI Beach Show. Hi, I'm Katie McFarland. And I'm Royce Rolstad. And today, on the blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, come on, film this right now. There's so many. Hold on, Royce. No, you. Oh wait, there's none actually in it. <laughs> Is that just shell?